Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I set a SQL query timeout in WebSphere application server? Log in to the administrative console with your user ID and password. Click Resources. Click JDBC. Click Data Sources. Choose the scope where your data source is defined. Choose the data source where you want to set the property. Under the Additional Properties section, choose Custom Properties. Scroll through the list of properties to see if the following two properties are defined. WebSphere Default Query Timeout Sync Query Timeout with Transaction Timeout Click WebSphere Default Query Timeout Enter a value in seconds for the WebSphere Default Query Timeout property. Click OK. Click Save. Scroll back to where the two properties are defined. You can see that the WebSphere default query timeout property is now set to 30. Click Sync Query Timeout with Transaction Timeout. In the Value field, enter True or False. Setting this value to True causes the WebSphere default query timeout property to be ignored. Click OK. Click Save. Scroll back to where the two properties are defined. The value for the same query timeout with transaction timeout property is now set to true. If the WebSphere default query timeout and sync query timeout with transaction timeout properties are not already defined, you need to create a new property. Click New. Enter the name and the value for the property that you want to create. The type for property WebSphere default query timeout is java.land.integer. The type for property sync query timeout with transaction timeout is java.lang.boolean. Click OK. Since the WebSphere default query timeout property is already defined for the data source, an error message appears. Since the property already exists, click Cancel. Check the resources.xml file to verify that the properties are set for the data source. Choose the resources.xml file at the scope that your data source is defined. Search the file for the name of the data source. Then search the data source for the properties that you set. Remember to restart all the servers which use the data source for the properties to take effect. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.